All right, everyone, today we're gonna to talk about something a little bit more unique. I love doing sunglasses reviews on special stuff, although they don't get many views. Uh, if you're here, enjoy it. But what we're gonna talk about today is a special edition release by Etnia Barcelona in partnership with artist Ignacy Monreal. So all made in Spain, amazing stuff, but you're gonna see why I really love this one in particular. Let's take a look at that. Ah yes, but first, of course, if you're new to the channel, definitely do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can stay up to date on the latest notifications and see all of the cool sunglasses we talk about, as well as the different lens technology and things that we talk about on the channel the rest of the time. Now, let's get into what you're actually here for and take a look at some sunglasses that you might never get a chance to see in the wild, which is kind of cool all on its own. These are actually already sold out worldwide. I have two left and in the tortoise on black. I'll have the link for those in the comments below, but let's take a look at these wicked cool sunglasses. So as it usually goes, cool stuff, special edition, usually comes with really cool special edition cases. As I mentioned, this is a partnership between Ignacy Monreal and Etnia Barcelona, a famous artist with an artist-based brand around glasses. Perfect pairing, right? Now, on that note, let's actually take a look. Yes, I'm going to make you suffer today at what is in the box itself. If I can get my hands to cooperate. So they do this in a really cool way. You've got this nice, soft, felt-like case. I'm not sure the exact material here, but with a little canvas logo stitched in at the bottom. Very nice little key ring here, so you can attach that to your purse or whatever, so you can carry these that way. Very handy, very simple zip case, very nice and soft. Always a good way to do it. And of course they come with a nice little card with a piece of his artwork. You might see where this is going and why I think they're so cool. Nice little postcard feature there. A card again about the partnership between the two. There you go. Exclusive and limited edition of 1,000 pieces worldwide. Yeah, and we got two of them, so how about that? And then your usual, typical microfiber cleaning cloth. This one's a little bit oversized, so that's always nice. And then your little standard warranty blurb about it in Barcelona, how to take care of your glasses, and what the different categories of sun lenses mean. Which, eh, that's always fun. Now, all of that aside, Let's get into the beautiful frames that you are actually here to see and you've been waiting impatiently as we get into the Ignacy edition with the beautiful polish. Very slim, very sleek, very, very cool design with a nice little detail that you won't find anywhere else. And that is going to be this guy, that absolutely stunning marble set that makes the look of the eye. As it goes, mothers are said to have eyes in the back of their head. Well, now you can add a pair onto the side of the head as well. I think these two are a perfect complement to each other. The ivory sold instantly. I didn't even get to get that in my computer, so unfortunately you guys don't get to see that one in person or in video or whatever. The tortoise, they've done a great choice on the lenses. You've got that very classic green and tortoise colorway, which actually goes really nicely with the jewel setting for that eye. Again, you see, absolutely gorgeous. So what better way to step up in a new pair of sunglasses than something extremely unique? Now, as far as that 1000 limit worldwide, I'm not sure if that was per color. They did make us get the full kit, so all three colors. You know, I don't know the answer on that. Anyways, as far as the color on this one, very cool, edgy black with a deep, rich finish. Of course, that is going to be Italian acetate. Then that beautiful setting. I do, on this one to me, the eye creates a little bit more stunning. It's a little bit nicer detail set in the black just because it contrasts so much with the rest of the frame. Versus on the tortoise, it really, you know, it adds to the frame, 
but it's not the first thing that really draws the eye in, like over here on the black. <laughs> Forgive the term there. No, uh, you know what? Don't. It's, it's a nice little pun. I like it. It draws the eye in because it is the eye drawn into the frame. You can deal with that, and that's just how we're going to be about it. As far as weight, you know, these are a little bit on the heftier side because you've got the chunkier material, you've got that marble in the size on each piece. Definitely going to be a little bit more front heavy than some. They have balanced that out a little bit with the thicker temple back here. No counterweights on the back like you would see on some of the super uber luxury stuff. And they do have mineral lenses in the front as well. So you're not going to have to worry about scratching and you've got really nice optics on there. So this is still, while it's definitely an artistic piece, definitely gorgeous to look at and certainly at home on any sort of mantle display or even displayed in a shadow box, because why not? But they're definitely built to be worn and to hold up because you've got this very strong, chunky acetate material. That's gonna hold shape really well. The mineral lenses are gonna help with that as far as the holding shape, but also gonna add to the durability while providing incredibly crisp optics and nice coloration there. They do have backside AR on both of these because obviously, you know, you're not gonna get complete coverage from this frame, so that helps block the reflections from the back. Beautiful, beautiful work on these, and I will shut up for just a minute and leave you a moment to appreciate the design of the frames themselves. Of course, what fun would it be if you did not get to see these on a face? Probably not. My face is one of the best examples, but it is still a very, very cool looking pair of sunglasses. I think we can all appreciate the look of these, even if I am not the one to pull them off the best. And yeah, you know, the sizing is a hair small for me, so just something to keep in mind there. You know, they do run a little bit on the side or side. Some of that is just the way it's adjusted from the factory. That's an easy fix but very, very cool. And as I mentioned, I love the eye detail. Just very eye-catching. <laughs> I haven't said eye enough times in this video. Maybe we should go back and count and see how many times that was said. You probably should not do that. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe you will, and you'll tell me down below. Anyways, that's all I've got as far as this pair today. I will stop blathering over the beautiful... Oh, no, I won't. No, no, I won't. Because look at this. I did not talk about this. I forgot about this. That, the punchline, is made where the temples close and the eyes are behind the lenses. Come on. You've got to appreciate that. If nothing else in this video is cool and stands out to you, that should be something. Now I'm done talking about the sunglasses. I promise. That's it this time. I'm not going to look down and remember another feature that you need to go ooh with me about. Anyways, that's definitely all I've got this time. Leave me your feedback down below in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this video and these really cool sunglasses in particular. If you're interested in getting a set, as I mentioned, there are not many left out there. I have one of each. I imagine they won't last long after this video, but definitely check with us if that's something you're interested in. Now, I will catch you guys next time. I hope. Take care. See you then.